After palpating the landmarks, you will be inserting the needle into the pterygotemporal depression. The needle is brought in from the contralateral side, and insertion point is directly there, and advance slowly until you go 25 millimeters. Once bone is hit, you withdraw slightly, you aspirate, and slowly begin to inject a full cartridge of local anesthetic, unless you are following with a buccal nerve block, in which case you should inject three quarters of the cartridge. The needle is now passing through mucosa, a thin portion of buccinator muscle, loose connective tissue, and adipose tissue. It lies lateral to the medial pterygoid muscle and the sphenomandibular ligament, and medial to the ramus of the mandible. If you contact bone too soon, in other words, significantly less than 25 millimeters, you will need to redirect the syringe and carry out the indirect technique. This is accomplished by withdrawing the syringe slightly, moving the barrel more medially over contralateral canine or incisors, and advancing again until bone is contacted. If you do not contact bone after 25 millimeters, and the needle is almost buried, you should redirect by withdrawing somewhat but not completely, and move the barrel of the syringe more laterally and advancing again until bone is contacted. You should repeat this procedure as necessary.